morning students today we will learn with chapter number 8 of english grammar and the topic of today is present tense see this present tense you have learned in your smaller classes here in this class of standard 5 we will be learning about the present tense and here in your textbook there are three different type of present tense can be bifurcated in three or four ways but here in your textbook it is of three type the first one is simple present tense so what is a simple present tense the definition is here and please open up to your page number 35 of your english grammar there it's also there i will be reading the first one the simple present tense is used to express a habitual action or a general truth see the simple present tense is used to present or express a habitual action the action that is a habitual thing or a general truth or that it is a truth no false or no something is added false thing is added so that is known as a simple present tense the example here on my board is the eagle fly in the sky is a habitual truth is a general thing na is a way eagle fly see the fly is an habitual action of a thing in the sky so this is known as a simple present tense hmm. so you know, we come with with singular nouns and pronouns we add s es or ies to the root form of the verb see when there is a sentence where there is a singular noun or a pronoun we always use s es or ies with the root form of the verb wherever the verb is there and you know it's a singular pronoun <coughs> sorry singular noun or a pronoun then the verb we use s es or ies the example is he goes to school so here he is a pronoun and go is a verb so i have told you when there is a pronoun or a singular noun we go with the word verb with es or ies or s so the sentence will be like this he goes to school so the next one is with i you and plural nouns and pronouns see here with i you or with plural nouns or pronouns we use the root form of the verb to indicate the simple present tense wherever that when wherever you use i you or the plural noun or a pronoun and wherever there is a root form of the verb we use it into a simple present tense so here the example is i so i is here for i for the i the like likes we don't say i like books by mark twain so here i will be wherever you use i you or pronoun noun or pronoun uh, plural nouns and pronoun we use the root form of verb into a simple present tense so example is i like books by mark twain now i will be moving with the next one now things that you should remember in the simple present tense is that we do not use the root form of the verb be alone see we do not use the root form of the verb be alone instead we use is and are we use is and are the example is i am a hard working student see we use the word am okay in the simple present tense the next thing that we have to keep in the mind are the following are the ways to form a simple present tense form of verbs now to make a sentence is what are the things that you should remember the first one is add s to the most verb when used in a singular noun and pronoun see whenever there is a sentence and whenever there is a singular noun or a pronoun we always use s to the verb form of the third person the example is place see s is added six swims so in this way two more up things are there i will be explaining you that the next important thing that you have to remember in the simple present tense is the add es to the verb ending in s ch 
S H X O or Z. See whatever the verb is there that end with S C H S H X or Z. You have to add E S. Example is see watch. See here watch is ending word with C H. So it's a verb that is used in a simple present tense. So you have to add what E S. Watches. Suppose that the word end with O. There also you have to add ES. So that when we write when you write in a simple present tense, you will be writing like this. G O E S. That word go becomes goes. The next important thing is that the if the verb ends with Y, whatever the verb is there in your sentences that end with Y, we change Y to I E S. See, whatever the verb is there in a simple present tense that ends with Y, you have to change it to I and ES. Example is here. Marry. So what is the spelling? M-A-R-R-Y. The word, the verb that ends with Y, you have to add I-E-S to the simple present tense. So word marry changes to marries. Hope you have understood. Just go through it. It's there in your textbook itself. You just go through it so that it will be easy to understand. Now I will be changing the next topic is a present continuous tense. Now the second such type of the present tense is present continuous tense. So what is the definition here? The definition is present continuous tense is used to talk about the action that are in progress or that means in a continuation at the time of speaking. See this present continuous tense is used to talk about that action that is a continuation or in that the work that you are doing in the time of your speaking is known as a present continuous tense. Things that you have to remember here is the helping verb is are and am. See is are and am. And is a helping verb that combines with the ing form of the main verb. See, that combines with the ing form of the main verb. The small formula, the, the word, the key that you have to remember in the uh, present continuous tense is is and are plus the verb plus the ing form. Okay, is and are plus the verb and in that verb you will be adding the ing form and that will show us in the present continuous tense. The example is Sonali is writing a letter to her friend. So here is is a helping verb and write is a verb and in present continuous tense you will use ing form. So that will be Sonali is writing a letter to her friend. The thing that you have to remember in the present continuous tense is is and are plus verb plus the ing form. Okay, that will be your present continuous tense. Now I will be going with the third one that is present perfect tense. Now the third form is the present perfect tense. Present perfect tense. Present perfect tense is used to talk about an action that happened in the recent past but it is relevant in the present. See the present perfect tense is used to talk about an action that has been happened in the recent past but is still happening in the present. So that is the example. The main thing that you have to learn is about the present perfect tense is the rule that is rule has, have plus ed form of the main verb. What is that ed? Ed means the past participle form of the main verb. You have to use has, have plus the past participle form of the main verb. One example is he has finished his homework. So has is represented as past perfect that means finished ed that means the past participles of the main verb. Finish is the main verb. 
and we add ed that is past participle to form a present perfect tense. So example will be he has finished his homework. The next important thing that you have to understand here what is a past participle form. Now forming of past participle. See before that I asked you the ed form. The ed means the past participles. Now how that you can change here? The first one is you can add ed to the root of the form of the verb. That means wherever the verb is made verb is there, you can add ed. That shows the past participle. The example is call ed. You add that it will be called. So suppose your main verb is walk. When you add ed to it, that will be a past participle and that will be known as walk. The next one is when you add e to the most of the verb ending in e, double e and ie. Suppose a verb is there in your sentences that ends with e, double e or ie. You always have to add d. So here the example is close. See c l o s e. Close. So you will be adding there d. The same way d i e die. And you have to make a past participle, so you have to add D there. So your example will be died. The next one is you have to change Y to I E and E D. Suppose a word in that sentence is a verb is there that ends with Y. So you have to add there I E D. I have told an example before also. Suppose the word is marry, M A double R Y. The verb that ends with Y. You have to add IED for making a past participles. Another such example is the sum of the word is a consonant that ends with Y. There also you have to use IED. Suppose the word is fried. You have to add for the past participle as a F-R-I-E-D fried. Okay. Now we will move it with the next one. So the next one is add ed to some of the verbs that is ending with a vowel plus y. There's a vowel is there but it's also end with y and you have to add there ed. Suppose the word is play. Okay. You have to add y plus ed form. That play will be turned into past participle as played. The next thing is that many verbs do not follow any rules. See before that there were three four rules now. When you have I, you have to use I, E, S or whatever the changes are, S, H. Then when you change into past participle, there are some rules there. I have taught you before. But some of the verbs in the sentences do not follow. And what it is? Such as say. The past participle will be said. Suppose the word is bring. And you have to write down in the past participle form. It will be brought. Okay? It's there in your textbook, page number 39. You have to just follow all the rules and the different verbs that do not follow any rules of the past participle. So students, just go through this chapter very well with the rules so that it will be easy for you to understand. Thank you.